Coming up in today's vlog on the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, we tell the story of one man's vision to create a healthy and safe environment for his workers. The village was meticulously planned and designed, with an emphasis on providing a high quality of life for its inhabitants. The houses built for the workers were spacious and well ventilated. Jan finds some furniture for our boat. You found me chair, have you? By comparison. <laughs> and there are more leaky locks than you could throw a waterfall at. Hello, welcome to today's vlog. Hiya. Hi. Well, we've been spending a couple of days here at, where are we, Appley Bridge? Yeah. Appley Bridge, yeah. I like that name. Yeah. The first funny, because actually there's a couple of Appleys around here on the Leeds and Liverpool. There's an Appley further down, but this is Appley Bridge. Uh, there's a marina opposite with a water point and an L sound. And we've been spending some time with Maxine, Steve and Mexi, the boat dog, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, and they want to go to Salt Air, which is funny enough where we want to go to now. They're going to go and get some water over at the marina. We're going to go through the next few locks and a swing bridge, I think. And fill up. And we're going to fill up there, there. And then they're going to meet us. And then we'll all, four of us. Five. <laughs> Don't miss her. We're all going to spend time together. Yes, five. Probably. Did I say four? Yeah, you said the four of us. How rude. Oh, sorry, Maxie. Sorry, Maxie. Sorry, Maxie. Um, because uh, I think Maxine is doing the virtual marathon, which doesn't mean you don't do it really. <laughs> Vir virtual doesn't mean you sit behind a laptop and go, oh, this is bloody straining me, this is. No, she... Th that they've been this way and now they're going back because she is running from Saltair to Leeds and back. Oh, that's right, because they've worked out... Madness! Madness! <laughs> yeah, because they've worked out, haven't they, that Saltair to Leeds is 13 miles, so and a, a normal uh, or a standard... Um, marathon. Marathon. It's 26. It's 26, so if you go there and back, you've done your 26 miles. And the towpath's brilliant, so she should be okay. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll have to see All how she the gets best. On. All the best, Matty. Yes, fingers crossed for you. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get going. We've spent a lovely few days here at Appley Bridge. We've got to move on. Eventually, we're going to do that famous flight of locks, the Bingley Five Rise. We've got a bit of a way to get there first. And it's first swing bridge of the day. Ha! <laughs> You don't hear that every day, do you? Normally first lock of the day. No, we've got that to come. First swing bridge of the day today.
Salt Air was created as a response to the adverse conditions faced by workers in the textile industry during the Industrial Revolution. It was founded in 1851 by Sir Titus Salt, a successful wool manufacturer who sought to improve the lives of his employees and create a healthier and more pleasant environment for them. He named the village Salt Air by combining his own surname with the name of the river on which it was situated, the River Air. The construction of Salt Air began in 1851 and it took approximately 20 years to complete. The village was meticulously planned and designed with an emphasis on providing a high quality of life for its inhabitants. The houses built for the workers were spacious and well ventilated, a significant departure from the crowded and unsanitary conditions prevalent in industrial cities at the time. In addition to housing, Salt Air offered various amenities for the well-being of its residents. These included the imposing Victoria Hall, which served as a centre for entertainment, education and recreation. The village also had a school, a hospital, a library and bathhouses, providing essential services and promoting education and health. The centrepiece of Salt Air was Salt Mills, an enormous textile mill spanning over 20 acres and comprising multiple buildings. At its peak, the mill employed around 3,000 workers. It was equipped with the latest machinery and technology of the time, making it one of the largest and most advanced textile mills in the world, including over a thousand looms and 6,000 spindles. This allowed it to produce vast quantities of high-quality Worstead cloth. It produced mohair, alpaca wool, woolens and fabrics for ladies' garments, uniforms and carpets. Salt's mill was the economic engine that drove the growth and prosperity of Salt Air. It generated significant wealth, and helped establish the village as an important industrial centre. Saltaire's significance extends beyond its architectural and social achievements. Its creation represented a visionary approach to urban planning and social reform, emphasising the importance of community, health and education. Today, Saltaire is recognised as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and continues to attract visitors from around the world. After the mill's closure in the 1980s, Salt's Mill was adaptively reused and transformed into a vibrant cultural destination. It now houses art galleries, restaurants, shops and other attractions that celebrate its industrial heritage. What, who, where, which, where are we? Oh. Uh, we are here. Where's we are here? Uh, we are can't find we are here. Well, we're on this road, aren't we? Well, we're, we're there. We've come up here, haven't we? Uh, Victoria Road. No, we're not near the church. No. No, we're here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Salt Mill. No, we're not. That's over the other side. No. Salt Air, we are. No. Here's, here's, the, <coughs> here's, the, here's, the, here's the canal. We're this side of the canal. <coughs> we're here. We're, we're moored here. We're moored here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've only said that. And this, the Shipley Glen Tramway. Yeah. We're on the oldest tram. No. Oh, hi. In Britain. Maxie and Steve. Oh, that's not me wobbling. <laughs> that sound isn't coming from me either. Meanwhile, back at Salt's Mill. Main entrance coming up. Very quiet. It's massive. Family chair, have you? By comparison, 
<laughs> That's a tiny stool, you could get that on a boat, no problem. It's a chair, not a stool. Oh, well, you know what I mean. For me, it's a stool. <laughs> we found some books. There's one for you, look. Feminism? Yeah, oh, look, this one. Oh, mushrooms, yeah, because you used to work with mushrooms, yeah. Has it got pictures in? Mushroom art. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Very nice. And then there's there's a book for me, isn't um, there? This one up here. Which one? Oh, God. This one here, that's for me. We're not going to look in there. Right, here we are inside the salt works, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, in salt air. Now you can't really moor here, but we're moored just a way up uh, from here. So we can walk here. Yeah, because you only moor here for six hours. Yeah, there's visible time, but it's, it, it's, it's lovely, this is empty though. This is the empty this bit. We're getting ready for, yeah. it's got all sorts of artwork, yeah. antiques, yeah. Um, just information, beautiful restaurants, and it's just massive, and it's all free. Yeah, you can come and have a look round. Yeah, definitely. Mainly David Hockney, you've heard of him, famous artist. You'll see some of his uh, works of art. And a books. beautiful mural. And a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's a, a mural. mosaic. <clears throat> no, it's a mosaic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of the, of the town and everything, it's beautiful. I remember it well. Do you, dear? I think so. Sheeran, isn't it? Who? Here. Was that Sheeran? I think so. Yeah. No, it's the man himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Who's that then? No, I'm telling you. Ed Sheeran. Oh, has he done portraits? Oh, maybe it is then. Oh, I don't know. Let me read the first bit. That's Ed Sheeran as far as I'm um, concerned. It is Ed Sheeran. It's Ed Sheeran. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Right, Nigella, what are you cooking up for us today? They are beautiful. This is for honey. It's a honey spoon. Oh, honey, honey. Little measuring cups. I've got um, spoons. Little measuring cups. Half a teaspoon, two tablespoons. It's oh, all lovely. Well. Is it me or are we going back to the 60s and 70s here? Very retro stuff, isn't it? What you got? So, there's two things I like. I'm not really into art. Mm. This. Very nice. Smashed. £4.50 for a bauble, that's funny. This is a mosaic. And it was done 
It was commissioned by Bradford and Bingley, the main head office. Bradford and Bingley? Of course we're in Bradford. Bingley Five Rise. And it has been in their office until um, they demolished the head building. Well, there we go. Enjoy your salt mill. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. What a fantastic man he was. Yeah, old Titus. Of course, it's very similar to Port Sunlight up towards Liverpool. Oh, Way yes, and, yes, Merseyside. And, and also Cabris, Bourneville. And Bourneville, he yeah. He did the same sort of thing. It's it? worth the effort if you can get here. Come and see it. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our little jaunt around Salt Mill and Salt Air. It was lovely. Yeah. Very expensive in there, though. Yes. Very expensive if you want to buy stuff. But, I you know. Was, I was scared to pick stuff up in case I smashed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely beautiful. And if you can, come and see it. The whole village, the whole, the whole place is absolutely beautiful. It's fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this particular vlog. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up for a like. Whee! Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe. It's totally free to do so. And then when you have subscribed, press that bell icon. Ding! Thank you, Janet. And YouTube will let you know next time we upload a vlog. In the meantime, stay safe. Happy cruising. Bye for now. Bye.